Peter Godinez with KADYTV.net, your ambassador. Here's another segment of Good Morning Oxnard. And we have long awaited this particular celebrity from Oxnard. She has a hard time getting over. She is a true celebrity, Anna Rio Barba. Okay, did I say that right? Did I get the right accent or you can correct me? Anna del Rio Barba. See, I, I just too much gringo in me. You know? this, <laughs> this has happened when you, you're like a hop after you, you know, that type of stuff. But she is, uh, I'm a big fan of Oxnard School District and she is one of the Board of Education members. Uh, you have President, Vice President, member, brand new exalted ruler, which one I forget. Right now I'm the member. I the member. president last year. Oh, gosh, she's just so diverse. But I'm just so happy to have her because uh, she's had some other appointments. So we've uh, actually exchanged several emails and it's finally happening. So anyway, I just want to start at the beginning and just tell us how it all started, where you're from, where you're born. Where I was born? Wow. Okay. Well, first, thank you for having oh, us today. You're very welcome. <laughs> Can you tell them how excited that yeah, you're here? I'm excited too. So. You brought your bodyguard or several people here that uh, look like they know karate. Actually, so. actually, I bribed him. I told him I'd give him breakfast after. So. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. The breakfast it is. I tell you. Yeah. Keep on going. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Um, well, actually, I I was born in Mexicali. And actually, my parents um, migrated to the U.S. I was about three years old. So, coming from Mexico and, and just uh, being a Spanish-speaking individual, it was really tough just to kind of fit in the system. Now that I look back, because not really um, understanding a lot of the English language, it, it was difficult. Um, my parents um, moved around a lot. We were migrant workers. So, ended up going to a lot of different schools. Um, I lost count. So, when I started kindergarten, I remember vividly the kindergarten teacher sitting with me, going with um, cards, uh, showing pictures, and, and trying to teach me boy, girl. And, and uh, my sister and I were the only um, Mexican students at the school at the time, so nobody knew what to do with us. And I remember it so vividly because it was just such a huge transition. My parents had no clue about the educational system. And trying to understand the whole process was really difficult. Um, we were up in the Yuba City area, uh, Oroville, that's, that's where I started school, and moved to Durham, Nelson, uh, eventually into over in Brawley in Imperial County, and that's where we stayed the longest, and I uh, actually graduated from high school there. Um, been a field worker. Uh, during my uh, junior high years, we were working in the grapes. The grapes? And uh, that's where I met Cesar Chavez. Oh, really? And that's when the great boycott movement yes. started, and, and so my family, and we participated in, in the marches, and, and and looking back now, I didn't appreciate uh, the history that was evolving yes. because now um, that was a huge movement and it really defined who I am now. And, and really, um, I can appreciate now what, what I was going through. It was tough though yeah. because there were a lot of instances where um, we were faced with these challenges of, of violence yes. out on, on, the, on the streets and the vineyards and whatever. So, so uh, it was just a huge surreal moment you now looking back, but again, that defines who you are now and, and it's kind of made me a, a champion for education yes. because basically education is what's going to get you to change where you come from. And I knew that for me was the goal, to, to uh, get an education, get a better job, and, and be able to have a little success in life. Wow. Tell, us about, tell me about your parents. Huh? They have really a strong work ethic and value family. Am I in the right direction with that one? Yeah, they, um, they're very hard workers. Uh, like I said, field workers, and money was always tight. Mm -hmm. um, I just remember them working all the time. And in, in Brawley, um, there was a lot of tomato uh, season, whatever, but that was only temporary, so, so then we'd end up going up north, we went up to uh, Lanada, to Modesto, just to follow the crops. Mm -hmm. But um, 
it, it was just a way of life. Yes. And, and, and growing up that way, that's what we knew. But yes, they, they, they were very hard workers. I mean, sometimes working seven days a week and, and, and just continue trying to make ends meet. And like I said, money was always tight. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of times uh, the siblings and I would be working with them also and, and trying to bring more money into the family. It was tough. No, I can relate. My parents put me to work in the lettuce fields at an early age. That's so tough. I That's can tough. understand it, <laughs> and I've stayed in some camps up in different areas, so I, I can relate to you. And it is hard work, but mm -hmm. you know, I, I can imagine that. I'm sure you had some little special family times in the midst of uh, the hard things. Right. And, and, and what's interesting is you grow up in poverty, but you don't know you're, you're living in Thank poverty. Thank you. Thank you. You really don't realize it until after the fact. Um, for a while, we lived in the government housing. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. It was a place for you to lay down yeah. for your sister, it was your sister, yeah. It was home. And, and so, again, now I, I look back at and, and, um, the struggles that we went through, but as a young child, you, you just live in the moment, and, mm -hmm. and that's it. So, so again, um, I, I just appreciate the education that I received because that made me appreciate it more and more. You had to really kind of accelerate your, I say your mental, just knowing that you didn't know English, you, you're actually around kids who speak it, I'm sure. So you had to really kind of accelerate things. Did that really? That was another tough challenge for me because I, again, as a child, you don't know what you don't know. Exactly. And, um, I remember vividly one of my teachers, and this was in about the fourth grade, and I didn't know how to read. I didn't know that. And so she had me uh, with a book, and since I couldn't read, I didn't go to recess. So she punished me. And I remember that like it happened yesterday. And, and so for me, education and being able to reach out to the kids, that's why I do what I do. Right. Because we still have individuals out there, unfortunately, yeah. but the children have no voice. So for me, I, I feel I'm that voice. I've been there, I, I've gone through that, and, and the struggles, and, and we're going to make this education system work. And I just want to be sure that every child is able to have the quality education they deserve with the nurturing teachers they deserve. No, I love it. Bob Allen, the founder, can we have this? thing where you get goosebumps and that's what I got right now. So you go from this and did you get a chance to go to another level of education after high school? Well, high school was interesting too. I love school because I can tell. Me, but you are <laughs> because to me I, I, I always felt that it was the way to um, to change your life. And what was interesting, when my counselor in high school uh, asked me what I was going to do after graduation, and I told her, well, I want to be a lawyer. And so she said, well, you're going to be a computer secretary. Okay. So again, that was another defining moment for me, because I, I was thinking, well, I don't understand why. And, and again, you kind of, that little fire inside of me just keeps burning. And, and I, again, trying to understand why, and here's this person who's supposed to help you, whatever. So, lo and behold, I became a legal secretary. But that didn't stop my education. So right. what happened is I, I was working and going to school and trying to complete my, my degree. Um, but again, I, I think the, the roads open up for a certain reason, mm -hmm. puts you where you need to be, mm -hmm. and, and that's fine. Right. Because I, I did finish my degree and eventually got to the place where um, education took its toll, right. and, and I, I took that road. So again, I, I appreciate what I went through. It wasn't easy, but um, here I am. <laughs> well, you see, that's how I phrase the question, because I don't ask people, what did you go to college afterwards? You know, It seems like you're always, even now at this point, always going for an educational opportunity. Mm -hmm. And that's what I kind of see you as, being at the Oxnard School District, is where do you take these students to the next appropriate level? Right. I think for me, what what is really the important um, point of all this is that you always have the opportunity. Um, education, I'm learning every day. Mm -hmm. And, and <coughs> yes, I, I 
completed my, um, I'm a credentialed teacher and I, I have taught, um, but being able to learn, for me, it's just an open world. You can never stop, and, and I, I've always had that hunger just to keep learning, and I want the children to understand that they have that opportunity. And it doesn't matter how long or where it takes them or whatever, but as long as they have that passion to continue whatever that goal is, mm -hmm. they can do it. Because it's, it's, that is the answer to many of their questions, the solution to many of their um, challenges. Right. So I, I just believe that if, if, if we can focus on that for our kids, and build that little fire that they can reach whatever they want, then mm -hmm. they're going to do it. And line right behind you. And you know, just, just to kind of divert the question, it's kind of an educational one. I, I've met your bodyguard and your husband, Frank, and, and I got it. So I'm married 33 years, so you know I have credentials. How is it that this great salesperson was able to capture your heart? And so, again, for all the guys out there who are single wondering how you actually capture someone, can you give these the stupid population of those out there who have no clue? What was the key that Frank, my man, my new man, did? And he's standing right here. 